how you pull it back. Well, you disengage the string. Hook it into here. That's the anti dry fire mechanism. You hook it onto there. Crank it back. You don't crank it back very far. And you go ahead and put the arrow in. That kicks the anti dry fire mechanism down. And the string angle is pretty sharp, so if there's any gap in between there, it'll and these are really super hard on limbs, I guess. That's one thing that kind of worries me about it. Put that there. Shoot it again. Like I said, it's not sided in or anything. Just playing around with it right now. I don't know if the... Scope's cocked. Or... Take this off all right now, you hear me? Yeah. It's way off to the right. So much I might have to shim it soon. I'm gonna go ahead and aim lower than what I did. That looked like pretty lined up. Um, yeah, it's fairly close. It might be going a little, a little to your left, but I can't, I, I'm having trouble telling for sure. But. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shoot. It's quiet. Let's see what that did. You hit that deer in the back. Are you serious? Yeah, it did. It's fine. <laughs> it's shooting real hard. Well, actually, it ain't shooting up. Because I'm leaning way over here. But heck, when you look down, when you look down the arrow, it looks like it's going to the left, don't it? Yeah. Shit. Can you get it out of there? You try it. Are you videoing with this other than two? Man, it took some stuff out. You're in shot, man. Do not break the arrow. <laughs> you might have to pull the target, the deer out of the ground. It's what I've had to do before. Once you get them to slide, it's good, but. Have my boy do this since I'm a weak ass. <laughs> No lack of penetration I here. Well, here, go ahead and uh, I'll get it. Come over here and hold the camera. I don't think I've held yours very good. Yeah. <sighs>
these are a bitch to get out. Oh, shit. 